Hello YouTube, just a little apology before we start this video. Unfortunately the software I used on my phone to capture the app has copied it in such a way that when I've gone to render it to upload it to YouTube it's widened it out across the screen. Now I've tried several times to do this and keep it to the right dimensions but unfortunately it's beyond my technical knowledge. Hopefully it won't cause you any issues with following the procedure or the on-screen instructions and I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope for some of you it makes a difference with setting up and using your Wi-Fi module for your GTEC machines. Hello YouTube and in this video we are going to do an unboxing and a setup of the GTEC Wi-Fi module. As you can see this is the packet it comes in. It comes with a USB to micro USB lead and then the unit itself. As you can see across the top we have a reset button, a light for power, a light for USB connection and a light for Wi-Fi. There is a SD card already inserted of one gigabyte and then in this side we have the USB port at the bottom for connection to your printer and the micro USB port at the top which is your power in. So now we need to set up the unit itself so we insert the USB cable the other end of which is connected into the printer and your 5 volt power supply like so. As you can see power light comes on, it's a light for the USB connection and we have a flashing light on the Wi-Fi connection. So once the app is installed and you have signed up and then logged in it is merely a matter of going to the front page, clicking on me, clicking on my printers and clicking on start to bind. Then you need to look on your back of your Wi-Fi unit or on the back of your packaging to find the serial number which you need to put in and then click next. Please remember that this is case sensitive. Now to enter the configuration mode you need to press and hold the reset button using something small until you see this light flashing rapidly. When you see this light flashing rapidly that's when you release the set button. Don't keep your button pressed in until it's finished flashing rapidly otherwise all it will do is reset. So go into the config mode, push in see it flash rapidly that's when you take the pin out now you can see it is still flashing rapidly which is in the config mode and now we need to go back to the phone for the next step. So on your phone's Wi-Fi you need to connect to the Wi-Fi network GT printer and then we'll go back to the app to continue. So once back in the app click the up arrow button, click the Wi-Fi button, check that you are connected to the GT printer hotspot, click next and then you need to put in your wireless LAN name and your password and click OK and then the app will connect through your Wi-Fi network to the Wi-Fi dongle. As you can see we are now going online. So now we're online the first thing we must check is the board rate so click on the double arrow click on config and check the board rate is the same as your machine this is running on the A30 so that is the correct board rate so we now come back and from here we can go to the menu and we can click on move and move either the print head or the bed we can click on temperature and alter the temperature for the nozzle or the heat bed we can click on filament and we can heat up the nozzle and either load or unload filament 
We can also click on top right hand side which is bed leveling which does a semi-automatic bed leveling system which uses the five points on the bed and it will automatically move between those. I'm not going to press it because it will automatically start that routine. But that's also available from here. Other things that you can do, you can look online which seems to be a limited version of Thingiverse. You can pick a model and download from the model list. The one issue I found is, is that once you click on a file to download, it does actually start to slice it on your phone, which means if you have a phone that works slowly, it will take a while to do. You can also print items from the SD card on your printer. Just simply click on the folder and then click on the file. You can also do this with the SD card that comes on the Wi-Fi module if you happen to have put some prints on there. But that's about it for this first look and introduction on how to use the GTEC Wi-Fi module. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's been of some use to you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.